Dhaka's international airport is on high alert. Over the past year, it's become a gold smuggling hub. This man is suspected of smuggling in gold bars. He's being asked to show what's inside a suspicious package found in his luggage. Lucky for him, it's just a gold necklace and he's allowed to move on. These men are not so lucky. Customs officials say they were caught with 60 bars of gold wrapped tightly around their legs. The smugglers are bringing in gold in many different ways. Some bring it inside the soles of their shoes. Some are bringing it inside briefcases. Others are attaching it to their bodies. While some people are putting it inside the rods in the linings of their suitcases. Some are even hiding it inside televisions. These men say they were just doing what they were told, taking the gold from point A to point B, receiving it from people they don't know and also handing it over to people they don't know. Nazrul Islam says he was paid $60 to smuggle 10 bars of gold the last time he did it. I'm just a driver. They approached me and asked me if I wanted to do it once before. And the money was good, so I agreed to do it again. But it's not hard to figure out where this gold was supposed to be heading. While large amounts of gold are being brought into Bangladesh illegally almost every day, traders here say it's not affecting their business at all. That's because almost all of the precious metal is headed to neighboring India. India recently raised its import tax on gold. In 2012, before that tax hike, only 25 kgs of smuggled gold was seized in Bangladesh. Last year, after the tax hike, 520 kgs were seized, more than 20 times as much. And officials say this year has been even worse. Bangladesh has a demand for smuggled gold, but nowhere near enough to justify the amount we've been catching. So obviously, Bangladesh has become a transit route for gold headed to India. There is a silver lining of sorts. The gold that seized is handed over to the Bangladesh Bank, meaning the smugglers are at least inadvertently making the central bank's coffers a little bit richer. Mahir Sattar, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.